How's it going, Katanning? Probably my most requested video coming at you right now. You're probably wondering, what's the most requested video on this channel? Well, it's surprising to me, but people keep asking me to make a video about Living Water Church, about the church that I'm a part of, the church that I pastor at. And so uh, this video is going to be about Living Water Church, but very specific reason why that is, is this weekend, this Sunday, is going to be our five-year anniversary, which is just crazy for me to even think about. The reason that I'm here in this very room is that because Living Water Church actually started right here five years ago uh, in this very place. We had 30 some chairs set up in here. Uh, Living Water Church started with just 12 people on the second floor of my building. That's now the co-working space right here in downtown Katanning. How awesome is that? I don't think any of us really had any idea what we were getting into. We didn't have like some grand mission statement. We were just people that were passionate about God that wanted to get together and worship Him and see what happened. And I can remember that very first Sunday when we got into this place. We didn't even have carpet on the floor, you guys. It was like, it was rustic. That very first Sunday, we played a, a song called How Deep the Father's Love. And I can remember as we played it, um, even with our rudimentary band and um, just simple, simple worship, it was just such a presence in this place. And I can't remember if I've seen people as passionate before then or since or as genuine in their worship. And it was just this beautiful moment. I can remember closing my eyes in worship and just tears coming down my face. And when I opened my eyes, I looked out and it was just tears for every person in this room. It was just this incredible moment. And it was at that time I can remember first, for the very first time thinking, God, we're onto something here. And so that original group of 12 broken people uh, started to expand and pretty soon uh, we needed a bigger space. And so only seven months after we began on the second floor of my building, we bought this building on 721 Woodward Avenue. And so this has been our home for the last four and a half years and uh, what a great home it's been. So many things have happened since then. Just a few months after we started here, I uh, noticed a need that you know, we really need to be together worshiping more intentionally, not just on Sunday mornings. And so we started something called First Thursdays. And so every first Thursday of every month, we have a worship night in this place. And uh, we just spend an hour and a half, sometimes way longer than that, uh, just worshiping God together. And it's just this night of freedom. And uh, we don't come with a lot of plans. We just come knowing that we just wanna worship God today and see what happens. And that uh, has continued on to this very day. And in our second summer as a church, I started to notice that we were, we were kind of healed. We were getting stronger as a church. Now it was time for us to go into the community and do our part to begin to serve. And so the second summer we were here uh, was the beginning of Summer of Serve. And so you guys may remember videos from this past year uh, about Summer of Serve. And we've been doing that for four years now and we have no plans to stop. Uh, we just want to keep doing service projects throughout the community. We're just so excited about the future of our city and we just can't wait to see what's going to be happening. So if you know of a person that needs help with their house or with anything else, you know, please get them in contact with us. Uh, we do things like cutting yards and painting porches and we've torn down garages. We've done all kinds of different things. So we're always looking for projects like that. Please contact us. Please get involved. And so after a couple years as a church, we finally felt like we came up with the right mission statement. We finally felt like we found our purpose, uh, not only for the city, but for the kingdom of God. And our mission is this, to transform individuals and our community with the gospel of Jesus Christ. The most humbling part is when you think about how many lives have been changed. You know, we set up a baptismal and I just think of how many people have been baptized in this very place. How many families have been healed? How many babies have been dedicated? How many new people we've seen walk through these doors and walk out a changed person? It's an amazing thing. It's a humbling thing. And it's such an important thing for our community. See, we have a whole group of people at this church that is sold out to the idea that if you can change one life, then you can change a household. And if you can change a household, you can change a whole block. And if you can change a block, you can change a neighborhood. And if you can change a neighborhood, you can change the whole city. And so we're unashamed when we say, hey, we're looking for more people to connect with that mission. We want you to come and join us and get to know God better with us through worship and through the study of his word. We want you to get plugged in with some of our life groups. We meet in each other's homes through the week because we want to have authentic relationship with other people. Everybody needs that. 
and we want you to be serving. And it's not just serving inside the church, but also serving in the community. We're supposed to be loving our neighbor, and that means action. We gotta get out there and actually do something. So that's who we are as a church. That's who we're trying to connect with. And so if that's you, we want you to join us. So it's been an incredible five years, and I can't wait to see what the next five years is gonna bring. This is your opportunity to come and connect with us. This Sunday, this coming Sunday, we are gonna have our five-year anniversary celebration in this church. Our goal is that every single one of these seats would be filled and we would be at standing room only. We want to see this place just on fire with worship for God. And so we'd love to have you come and join us. It's going to be this Sunday at 10 o'clock. And after the service, we're going to have a dinner right here in the church uh, with everybody involved. And so we want you to come out, enjoy worshiping with us, enjoy the dinner with us. And on top of all of that, I'm going to be preaching and I'm going to be casting some vision for where I think we're headed over the next five years. It's a really exciting time to get involved with this church. It's a really exciting time to be in the city of Catanning. Great things are coming, and Living Water Church is going to be a huge part of that. So why don't you come join us? Give us one Sunday and see if your life isn't changed. What do you have to lose? any questions about Christianity or about our church or our beliefs or anything like that, uh, please put them in the comments. I'm an open book as a person and we're an open book as a church. We encourage questions. We encourage challenges. We want to be a church for the city so that we can change this community for the better. So ask away. So I just had a thought on the way home. Now track with me here. If Katanning is the greatest city in the world and Living Water Church is the best church in Catanning? Does that mean Living Water Church is the best church in the world? <laughs>